Okay, here's an updated video on uh, um, my solar panel setup that I've got. Uh, I use this right now as a grid tie. It's uh, cutting my electric bill. And then um, it's also got a, I have a backup system too in case the power goes out for any length of time. On the ground is the 45 watt array from Harbor Freight, which isn't a bad kit, but they're very heavy, um, kind of awkward to move around. Um, and it's not really something you want to mount on on a pole. And then up top here, I got two 125 watt um, 12 volt panels, which I got from UL Solar. On the back of this setup, I've got the Y adapter, so I keep them in parallel, running 12 volts down the line. Um, these aren't sitting in conduit. These are outdoor cables. They're pretty expensive for the 10 gauge wires. But for the 45 watt panel, what I did was I jumped them all together inside of a box and my out cable is just an extension cable, um, an extension cord from you know Ace Hardware or whatever, um, outdoor cord and a thick gauge because you got to run some distance and you need a thicker gauge wire. So those just kind of go along the ground here. Let me get in, see what's going on. And then I just bounced them into my workshop here and I got the bottom of this caulked up. I could put this in PVC if I wanted to. This is kind of a temporary setup. Uh, here's a little 45 watt panel that I take to the lake with us where we have no electricity. Now let me show you what's going on in here. So coming into the shop, the wire just bounces in through the wall and then um, I've got them hooked up positive and negative to this 300 watt grid tie inverter. And as you can see by the lights, they're moving pretty quickly. I'm putting out a lot of heat. Um, so I measure this through a kilowatt meter right here, which uh, this time of year, which is the best. Uh, summer, it's too high in the sky, but the early fall, which is this is sep first September uh, 5th, um, it runs a good angle against those solar panels. And uh, I'm getting about um, 75 cents a day based on the current rate that my electric company charges us for the high expense, um, which isn't bad. That works out to, you know, 20 some dollars a month in savings. But more importantly, I have a 2000 watt sine wave inverter, a big charge controller, and then of course got some batteries. There's the battery that I take up to the lake and then the little charge controller for my 45 watt thing, and then a small inverter here. But you got to have the backup system too. That's the whole purpose of this thing, really, is to run a refrigerator and some lights when the power goes out. All right.